Danielle, thank you very much. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Buyer beware. I mean, it's, it's that way with anything, whether it's dogs or doesn't matter. Yep. Got to be careful. Weather forecast, same difference. Boy, there is some <laughs> junk on the internet. Uh, I had somebody today on Twitter say, what is this? They show a map with like, you know, 800 inches of snow over us. <laughs> Just, just know, folks, there is a lot of junk that's on the Internet. Yes, we have a potential for some decent snow next week, but the details still need to be nailed down, which is, of course, why we bring Matt Standridge in on this part of the conversation. We've been talking about this uh, for the last couple hours now. And, Matt, uh, you know, I think the outlook for next week is we know it's coming. We don't quite yet know how much. Yeah, and, but at least right now, it still looks like something significant. Yeah. And then when we're trying to fine tune those values, we'll do so a little bit closer, but uh, several inches could be possible. And, and Jay and Betsy, it's been, it's been so funny because we have our, our daily weather meetings and we all hop on, all our meteorologists, and we all have, I don't know if it's terrible, but we all have grins on our faces because we're looking towards next week and it's a very active week. So lots of things to talk about. This weekend, not a crazy weekend in terms of the weather, but a couple things to mention. Tomorrow, for your Saturday, there will be a couple flurries out there, a little bit of light snow. Some of us could try to pick up a dusting or so. Not a big event with that. Going into Sunday, Valentine's Day, it's going to be very cold. Now, you probably heard on the national news some big record-breaking cold is going to be across the central United States. We're not going to be that cold, but it is going to be chilly for Valentine's Day. But the biggest story, like Betsy was just talking about, will be next week when heavy snow will be coming in for Monday and Tuesday. Let's start with some of the cold because the cold is actually one reason why we're going to get possibly a good amount of snow next week. The Arctic air is really centered over the northern plains and headed into the southern plains, too, where they're going to be breaking some big-time records. But it's going to be about 23 degrees here in Cleveland. That puts us in, I believe, if I check right, we're in the top nine. We're time for the top ninth coldest day for Valentine's Day when you're looking at cold record highs uh, for the day. But it's going to be pretty chilly. Not the coldest Valentine's Day, though, that we've ever experienced. But a lot of folks towards our west will have the coldest Valentine's Day they've ever experienced on record. But what's interesting is when you go towards the coldest air, you go towards the edge of the cold air, and that's where you get that storm track. So the coldest air is going to be just towards our west. But what that means here in Ohio is that the storm track comes right over the Buckeye State. So we're going to be watching several systems come from the southwest, go right through Ohio, and give us possibly heavy snow, I think especially Monday and Tuesday. We're watching some of these low-pressure systems towards the west. One for tomorrow, that'll be pretty light, but the biggest one will be headed into the Pacific Coast right now, and that'll be here, once again, Monday into Tuesday. Right now, things are fairly quiet. We've had the clouds start to come on in, and we'll have some peaks of sunshine, I think, throughout tomorrow. But it's going to be cold the next couple of days as that Arctic air is just sitting in the central United States. You're looking at the National Zymar hour-by-hour hour forecast. Tomorrow, a lot of 20s, but there will be a couple flurries out there. How much snow we're talking about? Once again, just, just about a dusting or so. It's not going to be a big snow for us. The big snows will be taking place next week, and you see them on that Union Home Mortgage seven-day outlook. I mean, Betsy and I were talking. We could possibly get maybe aiming towards that eight-inch mark or more in the middle of next week with some of these systems. So, so, Jay, we have some serious snow on the way. This weekend, though, overall pretty quiet.